I'm here to help. You and I will get through this together. When we come back, we're going to introduce Holly to a top-notch CEO of an executive search firm to help her with her resume. We'll be right back. Coming up next, what are the rules for writing resumes? Keep it simple. I don't want to see a middle name or initial on a resume. But you like the way it looks, Holly J. Because yeah. the J represents my maiden name. Well, but you like a job better. Yes, I'm sure. I. Okay. <laughs> Before the break, we met Holly, a mom who has her MBA and years of experience, but hasn't been able to land another job after being laid off. Well, Holly did pretty well in an interview with me, but in real life, she can't even get her foot in the door. Now, that tells me she could have a problem with her resume. So joining us now is a top-notch CEO of an executive search firm who helps people find work. Please welcome Stephen Viscusi. What are the rules for writing a resume? Well, the number one thing I like to tell people is to keep it simple. Don't over-design your resume. Keep it very simple, even on plain paper. And then people ask me all the time, how many pages should it be? Well, today it doesn't matter how many pages it is, because during the recession, people have more jobs than usual. So keep it one or two, maybe three pages, but no more of the one-page rule that people used to think. Okay, Stephen, what's the first change that Holly needs to make? Oh, we've got your resume here, Holly. Let's start right at the top of the resume. It's Holly J. I have a personal thing here. Unless you're Sarah Jessica Parker or Mary J. Blige, I don't want to see a middle name or initial on a resume. It's just a distraction. No one needs it. But you like the way it look, Holly J. I do, because yeah, the J yeah. represents my maiden name. Your maiden uh, name? Yeah, so I like okay. the J. Well, but you like a job better. Yes, sure. I, yeah, that's okay. a better. That's better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to go to this whole profile here. This is the part that I'm talking about. See here? That part's got to go. We're going to put an objective there. And that objective is what's going to change every time we send out that resume. We're going to keep it very simple, just like a tweet. You know what that is? 144 characters. <laughs> very simple. And we're going to change that every single time we send out that resume. Okay. So that objective is really tailored to the company to that the you're job, Exactly. You're going to okay. mimic what's in the job okay. description itself or in the ad that you're answering or what someone told you about the company. And when you have your education, I know you're proud of your MBA. And congratulations to you for getting it. But we're going to move that to the end of the resume because that's where it belongs unless you're just out of school and add the years of graduation because you're still young and vibrant. Then we're going to add the URL under each company. Every place that you've worked, I want to see the website because this way the employer can picture where you've worked. Makes sense, right? Yeah. And then you see right there. This current resume, Holly, I'm afraid I've got to give you a D plus, but I've got a surprise for you. I've done this over for you. I've got something completely different to show you. I'm here to tell you that. See, that's nice. That is. That's nice. Okay, here you bought her revised resume. Completely revised. Look at this. We got it down to one page, which is not necessary, but it's much simpler. And here I've added a human resources objective for you. And this is the part we're going to change each time. And everyone needs to remember this in the audience. Change the resume every single time you send it out. And look at those URLs. Look down there. Look at this, where we've put the companies that you've worked for. And then when you go out and you bring this resume, I want you to always bring three copies of the resume with you. Everyone thinks, oh, we're emailing it. It's simple enough. But guess what? They never have the hard copy when you're there. And one last secret, not too much perfume or cologne. Keep it simple. Very important. Okay, now, Holly. I like that. Let's get it done. Now, Stephen, Holly. Stephen, you've done something else for Holly. Yeah, I have, Holly. I have a special surprise for you. Me and the team at the Viscusi Group did some headhunting magic in Toledo itself. And I've lined up three interviews for you with three Fortune 1000 companies. Simple enough, if you take the advice that Steve gave you today, combined with my advice, I guarantee you will have a job in the next 90 days. I guarantee it. Absolutely. Okay, now, we got one more surprise for you too. Because Brandon, since you spent your vacation savings to pay for the billboards, I didn't want to leave you out, man. 
So this is what I'm going to do. Hocking Hills Tourism Association would like to send you on a four-night family vacation oh. in a luxury cabin, including canopy tours, horseback riding, canoes, and a whole lot more. It's all worth nearly 3500 bucks. So have a nice time, man. Hey, Holly, we're going to check back in uh, with you and see how you're doing. We're going to follow you up on this and hope you land it. I think it's going to happen for you. Okay. Thank you very thank much, Holly. You, you were thank super, you. man. Thank you, you were super. Holly, thank, thank you. you so much. Hey, I love you. Thank you. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs>